Welcome to Arizona Horizon. I'm Ted Simons. Maricopa County Supervisor Thomas Galvin is calling for Arizona to speed up the counting of ballots. Galvin wants the governor and the legislature to enact new laws that would result in 95 percent of election returns to be counted by election night. And to learn more, we welcome Supervisor Tom Galvin to Arizona Horizons. Good to see you again. Hi, Ted. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Why the push now to speed up election results? You know, obviously Arizona is one of the few swing states here in the country for presidential elections. But regardless if it's a presidential year or not, we have seen that in Arizona, the way that the system is designed is that all 15 counties in Arizona, not just Maricopa County, are counting ballots 8, 9, 10, 11 days after the election. And what happens is, and I've noticed, within 48 hours, people really just start to freak out. And they start wondering, hey, when are you guys going to be done? When are you guys going to wrap it up? And the thing that really bothers me is from around the country, everyone says, well, why is Arizona so slow? We're not slow. It's just that the system is designed this way. And what I would like to see is 95 percent of ballots tabulated by election night. Uh, and it, but we, we aren't really, I mean, 11 days this time, that's not necessarily unusual for us, is it? It's not unusual. In fact, it's really right in the range that Maricopa County um, is able to tabulate all its votes. In fact, before the election, we had announced it's going to take us about 10 to 13 days to tabulate votes. Uh, I think what we did here was a Herculean effort because we had 2 million people voting, but everyone voted on a two-page ballot. Mm -hmm. So we had to process 4 million pages which was just incredible to do uh, going out from the election 10 days. And I want to get more into that in a second here, but the idea of it taking too long or longer than usual, et cetera, it, my understanding, and we've done a bunch of segments on this, is that it isn't taking longer than usual. It's just that the races are tighter and more focus is being put on the... I mean, if you're... Uh, it's mostly a red state, and yep. if you're a Republican candidate, you could usually figure out you were going to win in a day or two, right. regardless of the official results. Yeah. Now, well, maybe not this last election, but in, like in 2020, 2022, I mean, you've got close races now, and you've got to wait it out. That's exactly it. And one thing I've seen is that people confuse when races are called by the media and when yes. uh, jurisdictions are done tabulating votes. So if you're watching TV and Fox News says that Donald Trump won Indiana or Kamala Harris won New York, it's because they know that they're going to win those two states. They can call it that night. However, those states are still counting days later. But in Arizona, we're a swing state. We really don't know who's going to win, but Maricopa County and other counties are still counting. But I think this has really produced a strain on the system. Okay, but you want to see 95% of, of the ballot returns counted and, and collected in the whole nine yards there on election night. That's right. How are you going to do that? Well, we're going to do that. One is we're going to address the biggest problem here that we're facing is what we call the late earlies. This is when people drop off their ballot envelopes on election day. And what we saw here in Maricopa County alone was about 225,000 ballots were dropped off that day. Obviously, what happens when you drop off your envelope, it goes through a very rigorous process, including signature verification, ballot processing, and tabulating. That's the process that takes days. And I even have friends of mine who said, well, I dropped off my ballot envelope today in Election Day. I'm like, well, your ballot will not be counted till days on out from here. If we're able to move the cutoff date uh, to days before the Election Day, even seven days out, we're going to have significant gains in terms of tabulating by election night. How does that, uh, is that similar to what Florida is doing? I keep hearing, let's be like Florida, let's be like Florida. You know, a lot of people like to mention Florida. A lot of what Florida does is actually very similar to Arizona, but there's other states that do a great job. Let's look at Virginia, let's look at Texas. However, in Florida, you're not able to drop off your ballot envelope at a voting center. You're only allowed to bring it down to county headquarters. Uh, that would be problematic here in Arizona because people live in far-flung places and you would be demanding too much of them. And what I think we should do uniquely is move the cutoff date of when you can drop off an envelope at a voting site. Also, a transition, the emergency voting system right now, I think, is Saturday and Monday prior to yep. the election. But you got to show you it's an emergency situation. You say, forget that, let everyone do that. Forget that, let everyone do it. For example, if you cannot vote on Tuesday, you have to say, well, I have an emergency. I need, need to vote on Saturday or Monday. I want to open that up. We already have those uh, in-person voting centers open. Why not let everyone be able to vote on those days? In fact, I'm a day of voter. I would love that opportunity to vote in person on Saturday and Monday. Once again, those ballots would be tabulated on site, would help us get more ballots tabulated on election night. I would think that would get some traction as far as uh, lawmakers are concerned and the governor and maybe the idea of using government buildings again. That we, uh, Why don't we use government buildings? What? I don't know, but it's very hard for each election cycle for all the counties to find sites to host yeah. uh, voting centers. So, for example, Maricopa County, we're proud of the fact that we had 246 voting centers 
but most of them primarily are private facilities. So you're going to be asking a lot of them if you're asking them to be open more than one day. Uh, if we're going to use in-person voting sites that are going to be open for three days or more, I would think we should be using government centers. I'd also like to be using schools as well. Uh, many states where people come from who are transplants here, they go, hey, where I voted, I voted at our local school. Why can't we do that here? Yeah, local schools and churches and these mm -hmm. sorts of things. All right, um, especially doing anything that limits the opportunity for dropping off those early ballots. Critics say it hinders the vote. Um, you're hindering turnout. Yep. It's, it's, it's not a good thing. How do you respond to that? Well, with all due respect to Governor Hobbs and Secretary of State Fontes, they've been the ones raising the argument. I disagree with them. In fact, in this election in Maricopa County, only 47% of our ballots came through U.S. mail, which means 53% came through other means, either people dropping off their ballots at voting sites or voting in person. What this shows is that Arizona voters behave in certain ways due to the system that we have. This would not be disenfranchising folks. This would not be hurting folks. We all have a wide variety of voting. I believe that everyone should vote who wants to vote. We had an 80% turnout. This would just be a shift in behavior of when ballots come in, once again, to get that 95% return on Tuesday night. And yet again, these same critics will say it just sounds like impatience is superseding. Uh, get Making sure as many people as possible vote and making sure it's as easy as possible for them to vote. Do they have a point? Uh, I disagree and I disagree respectfully because also we have 4,300 people that work in this election system and we're demanding of them a lot in those 10 or 11, 12 days after the election. And frankly, if we are going to have to crank out tens of thousands of ballot pages, let's say a week out from Election Day, and people are calling in sick, which is what we experienced over this last election, it puts a considerable strain on the system. So I'm thinking about our volunteers and our employees who are being asked of a lot because the state legislature and the governor haven't changed it. What kind of response are you getting from the state legislature and the governor? I'm getting very good response from the state leader, uh, the uh, Senate and House leadership. Uh, Warren Pre Peterson, state Senate president, has been phenomenal. House Speaker Steve Montenegro has been good, but obviously we need Governor Hobbs' signature and, we, and the devil is in the details. And what I want to do is start the conversation. I'm an optimistic person. I think we can get Governor Hobbs there once she understands that this has been just really hard for the counties to keep doing it year in, year out. And yet she says that anything that makes it harder to vote as far as she's concerned is a no. You're not making it harder to vote. You're just changing when you vote. Last question here. Mm -hmm. None of this. We're not having this. Con we never had this conversation before uh, 2020. None of this happens without the conspiracies that are flying all over the Internet. And even as we speak, they're probably flying through the room. Right. None of this happens without that. Is this necessary or uh, is this just a way to make people who and people who see conspiracy behind every corner, mm -hmm. is this going to satisfy them or are they going to find another corner? Well, as you know, I'm a Republican who doesn't traffic in conspiracy theories and have really stood up the past three years to all of that ridiculous stuff. But I do think overall this is good for Arizona. About 45 states are able to have 95 percent of their ballots tabulated on election night. I don't think anyone in those states is saying that there's a problem for voters here. I just think overall, for voters' sake, who really want to know how the elections turned out, and these are people who don't believe in conspiracy theories but are just interested in seeing how elections are run, and once again, the experience of our workers, I want to make sure it's done right. I just think it's common sense to have most of the votes tabulated by election night. Maricopa County Supervisor Thomas Galvin, always a pleasure, sir. Good to see you. Thank you so much.